And welcome back on this Tuesday morning. Go grab your coffee, come hang out with us because it is time now for the morning mix. And this is something we talked about when it happened and we're still talking about this. Will Smith, he dives uh, into the infamous Oscar slap in his upcoming field during his return to late night television. Check out a piece of this interview. Yeah, that, that, was, uh, that was a horrific night, uh, a, as you can imagine. Um, you know, there's many nuances and, and complexities to it, you know. Um, but at the end of the day, I just, I lost it. Okay, the actor joined Trevor Noah on The Daily Show last night and began by calling the slap a horrible incident. And, of course, we all remember in March, he slapped Chris Rock on stage during the Academy Awards ceremony. After the comedian made a joke about Smith's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith, he apologized last night, blaming childhood trauma and pent-up rage being some of the main causes. Now, Smith said... He also understands if people just do not want to support him in his upcoming Apple original film, Emancipation. Watching the previews for that movie, it looks incredible. And I hate that this is overshadowing such a, an incredible movie with an mm -hmm. incredible message. Yeah, I mean, the message is amazing in itself. And how many times have we talked about Will Smith this year alone? It's mm -hmm. one of those things where I really hope that we can get past that because that movie does have a really powerful statement. It's a learning lesson for a lot of people, too. It is. It is. I agree with that. And I and I think he should be out talking about it and saying mm -hmm. apologies, right? Yeah. All right. Antonio Banderas, remember him. He shared who he thinks would be the best choice to follow his sword-wielding footsteps as Zorro. I was very surprised by this. Mm -hmm. And that person yeah, yeah. is Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah. It's something I did not expect from the Marvel multiverse. Banderas thinks that his uncharted co-star, Tom Holland, would be a perfect fit for the role. He described Holland as energetic and fun, adding that he has a spark to him. When asked if he would want to step in again as Zorro in a potential franchise, Banderas said he would pass the torch just how Anthony Hopkins did for him. What I do you think? wouldn't think of that on my own, but mm -hmm. I, I can see it. I can see it too. Yeah, how I do agree. You not like Tom Holland, anyways. you don't really? No, how can you not? Oh, I was no. like, oh. no, no, no. <laughs> how can you not? You're right. <laughs> No, absolutely. Who doesn't like Tom no. Holland? Like, he's a cutie patootie. No, love him. But yeah. I wouldn't have thought I yeah. like, connected the two until mm -hmm. that. But there isn't even a Zorro in the, the making, is there? No, no, it doesn't seem like it. But maybe now that it's been put out there, it's a possibility. But I do think he would be an adorable mm -hmm. Zorro. Well, it's the Wild West like you've never seen it before. Our parent company, Paramount, has just released the new trailer of the Western drama and Yellowstone prequel, 1923, and it has plenty of star power. Well, this is the Yellowstone, and you have no rights here. Jacob, you can't start a range war. Range war's already started. This is so well cast. Harrison Ford is perfect for this role. Oscar winner Helen Mirren as well. They both star in this new series. It is the latest chapter in the story of the Duttons of Yellowstone. This generation of the family will take on a pandemic, drought, the end of Prohibition, and the Great Depression. 1923 premieres on December 18th. It will stream exclusively on Paramount+. Plus. Paramount, by the way, is, Paramount, is the parent company of us right here, KPIX5. So there's 1923, mm -hmm. Yellowstone. Isn't there the prequel to this prequel, 1883 too? Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah. Is that the one with... Um I'm not sure who stars in it, but I think there's this Yellowstone yeah. has legs. Like because it is really it's popular. So good. Have you watched Yellowstone? I just started literally the first episode. Pieces. It's so good. I hear it's amazing. It, you have to be dedicated to it though, because it's the whole thing. Mm -hmm. It is. And there's lots of movies that go with it. So... Get your streaming planned. All right. 